class and welcome to your next video on cells. So we talked a little bit uh, about the nucleus, we talked about the endoplasmic reticulum, and now we're going to talk about the Golgi apparatus. So remember we have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum and we talked about how the rough endoplasmic reticulum um, makes those proteins um, that can be for, or within the cell or with going out of the cell. So from the rough endoplasmic reticulum, we're going to receive those proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum in a transport vesicle. Now if we look over here, this is a transport vesicle. And this is our rough endoplasmic reticulum, and we see these proteins within the transport vesicle coming over to our Golgi apparatus. And the proteins are modified as they move through the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi is then going to ship them off to the final destination, another cell or somewhere within the same cell. So it doesn't necessarily have to leave the cell just because it's going to the Golgi apparatus. It receives it, it modifies it, it's just kind of like editing it, it packages it, and it's like the post office of the cell. It's really changing it's not going to really change the protein. It's just looking for anything that could be wrong, and it's going to edit it. Now, that transport vesicle, I said the Golgi apparatus was like the post office. Well, the transport vesicle is like the UPS truck or the mail truck that's going to deliver it somewhere. So we need the transport vesicle to get to the Golgi, but we also need, as we can see, more transport vesicles out over here to move it around the cell. So then what happens to proteins or other parts that have gone bad? Well, we need something once a organelle or something has started to de deteriorate because we don't want to keep using something that function is going bad. So we have lysosomes that are full of digestive enzymes. Remember we talked all about enzymes. And these digestive enzymes are going to digest the food or they're going to break down recycled or damaged parts of the cell. As we can see, lys lysosomes serve this as the cell's digestive system. They contain those enzymes, can break down individual proteins or complete microorganisms. And they can also digest that food, um, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, all of those macromolecules that we already talked about. So where does the digested food go to though? Well, it goes to the mitochondria. The mitochondria is um, where we take that energy and we make it into usable energy. Well, what? how do we do that? Well, the mitochondria takes the sugars and turns it into ATP through a process called cellular respiration. ATP is the energy molecule of the cell, and ATP is uh, short for adenosine triphosphate. As we can see, this is a mitochondria, and it has many interfolds, and we're going to learn about that when we talk about cellular respiration next unit. So, you might think that plants make their own food. Well, that's right. They are using photosynthesis to create their own sugars. Chloroplasts within the cell convert sunlight into sugars. Sugars are only used for structure and storage without breaking down. It cannot provide energy. So that sugar is not going to do anything if it doesn't break down. So it's going to go back to the mitochondria to convert it to ATP. So we must use ATP so we can use it. ATP is our only usable form of energy, even within plants. So plants do make their own food. It's just they cannot use that sugar without having the ATP. So what does the cell do with all that energy? Well, it communicates, it replicates, it makes proteins, and it moves. So cells move. It has cilia that sweep back and forth like a broom and flagellum to use whip-like motion to move. Right here we have a picture of cilia, and they're kind of like a broom. They're just sweeping back and forth. And then the flagellum is really whipping. And you only have one flagellum if you have a f one or two flagellum, or many, many, many cilia like we see here. Well, that is it for, for our introduction to cells. Um, we will have a quiz over all of this, and we will go over this in class.